What was yours? Uh, I thought we played a really complete game. It started on the mound with Trey. I thought Trey was really good early, pitched out of some jams, which allowed our offense to to get going. I thought Colby Bortles put together a really good plan for our offense, and uh, we scored in every inning except the uh, bottom of the first. So uh, we put a lot of pressure on them. I thought we played really good defense, made some web gym catches. Carter Cunningham made a really good catch in right field. Hoover made a really good catch in left. Riley Johnson in center field. Um, and I just thought we were, you know, relentless offensively and just stuck to our approach and were really good. Okay, thanks. We'll open up questions for the players. Just raise your hand and introduce yourselves, please. Uh, Steven Igo, Voice of Colors. Trey, wh what was working for you out there on the mound today? I mean, I just had faith in all the pitches I was throwing today. Uh, four pitch mix. Um, and when I have this guy behind the plate, I have all the confidence in the world. And defense was solid today, so that gave me even more confidence. It was a pretty tight strike zone. You know, did you have to adapt to that at all early in the game and kind of maybe fill it up even more than, than usual? I didn't think it was tight. Really. Um, I thought there were some pitches that could have gone either way. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was all right. Take one on the left. Uh, Patrick Mason with the reflector in Greenville. Um, Justin, can you maybe speak to the offense's approach as a whole, especially against a pitcher who, you know, really doesn't walk too many guys, and you guys were able to draw some walks and really, you know, get into him a little bit? Uh, yeah, for sure. So um, for this guy today, we really just had to see the ball away from us, especially for lefties. We were kind of crowding the plate. We were taking those pitches that were starting in and then just handing them the fastball away because we knew he liked to expand off the plate and – and then if we got that hanging breaking ball, we could turn on it, but really just selling out the other way and just giving them that inside part of the zone, I think really helped us. Justin scoring in so many straight innings. I mean, is that kind of pirate baseball to a T, like executing bunts, that sort of stuff, stealing bases, that kind of pirate baseball? Yeah, for sure. And then uh, even in the later innings, Rass, Rass is at bat with working to a full count with two strikes. I mean, that's just pirate baseball. Never, never really giving up, never being out, and just adding whatever we can add on. Justin, from your perspective behind the plate, I mean, did it feel like Trey was, you know, just really had all all the stuff working today? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think, I think even though it's not, might not have been his absolute greatest out, I think it's still a huge showing by him and really good job. And he had to get to work today, and it was showed off. Trey, going back to you, just starting a regional opener. I mean, you kind of have the chance to set the tone for the entire team. How much did you kind of feed off that? And was your adrenaline? Rushing pretty good up there? For sure. Um, but to a point, you have to control it, and I felt like I controlled it the best I could. Um, but then when your offense is putting up double digit runs, it also makes you feel real good out there. All right, any other questions for the players? All right, guys, you can hang out here, you can head back. Uh, we'll take questions now for Coach. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Coach, just, you know, having a lot of success off Carmichael, and I know he was a little wild tonight compared to what he has been. Just what, what do you think led to that success for you guys? I just didn't think we chased out the zone and thought that, like I said, Colby Bortles put together a really good plan for our hitters, and uh, we just made a football on the zone. And, uh, you know, he, he gets a lot of outs, in my opinion, watching video where he expands off the, off the plate and guys chase. And uh, I thought we didn't do that for most of the time. I mean, a couple times we did, but, um, you know, he uh, probably didn't have his best command um, of the year, I would say. I mean, from what I watched on video, he threw some balls off the plate, probably more so than he had in some of the outings I watched on video. How much confidence does a game like this give you for the rest of the regional? Yeah, I mean, it's one game, you know, our guys played well tonight, which is really what we've done for the past month. I think we've put together some really good baseball on the mound, defensively, offensively. Um, but, uh, you know, get some rest tonight. you got to play a really good UVA team tomorrow. Coach, you guys scored in a lot of different ways. You hit some home runs, you got some bunts across, you, know, you stole some bases. I mean, does, does that just kind of stem from the confidence these guys have right now just to be able to, to do all these different things you're asking them to do? Well, we practice it all the time. So, uh, you know, a guy like Cam Plunch is actually one of our best bunters um, on the team. Probably people don't know that because he doesn't bunt a lot. But, um, you know, he executed a safety sack to perfection. Um, I thought, uh, you know, J-Dub didn't get the bunt down, but then he smokes the ball into left center field. We're able to tag right there. So just being able to put pressure on the defense in multiple ways is, is big for us. 
as teams get better and better as the postseason, as you get into the postseason as it continues, how valuable is it taking advantage whenever there are mistakes made on the other side? Yeah, it's huge. You know, uh, we didn't necessarily have to go to any of our go-to guys at the bullpen tonight, which UVA didn't either. So, um, you know, you're going to have two rested bullpens going into a winner's bracket game, which, you know, is good for both teams. Do you know he'll start tomorrow? Um, yeah, but I ain't telling him that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. We, we debated on whether you would. But just the rematch, you know, obviously from last year's, you guys know each other so well as programs, just – Kind of maybe preview tomorrow a little bit. What do you expect? I expect a heavyweight boxing match. I mean, you got two heavyweights going at it. Um, I have a ton of respect for UVA because of Coach O'Connor and Coach Mack and all their coaches and all their players. I mean, I coached Geloff and Teal this summer with the USA team. Um, I know what they're made of because I know what their coaches make them do. Um, they're really good. So we'll have our hands full, but uh, we're excited about the opportunity to play in the winner's bracket game.